Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you the newest assign iOS 2025 method and how to install any IPF file directly on your iPhone or iPad with no computer, no jailbreak, and no revoke. Okay, let's dive into it. First, open Safari and go to Apple JR website. Before installing, I've got something new for you, the latest DNS from Nezushub. It's a powerful and stable DNS that helps you install eSign faster and avoid revokes. Tap the Nezushub DNS as button to install it. Scroll down and you'll see the full installation instructions. Please read and follow them carefully so you can install eSign on your iDevice without any errors. Then click Install DNS Profile and click Allow. Once you've installed the DNS profile, go to Settings. Hit Profile Downloaded and hit Install. Don't forget to set the DNS Nezushub option to use when installing apps. So you can avoid revoke from the certificate. After that, return to Safari. We're now ready to download eSign iOS. On the Appledger website, you'll see several eSign download links available. These versions are for different devices and iOS builds. You can try any assign link from the list or just start from the top one first. If you want, you can even install multiple assign links simultaneously to test which version works best for your device. After tapping the link, choose install, then wait a few seconds. Once you see the assign icon appear on your iPhone or iPad home screen, that means it's successfully installed. But before opening it, you'll need to verify the developer. So now, go to Settings, General. VPN and Device Management, then find the profile name and tap Trust or Restart. Once trusted, go back and open the Assign app again. Now you can use and import certificate into Assign. Next, to make Assign work properly, you need to import a certificate. Go back to the Appledger website, scroll to the Certificate section, and download the certificate file. Once it's downloaded, open Assign again. Tap the three dots in the top right corner, then select Import. Now locate the certificate file you just downloaded and import it into eSign. After that, open the certificate folder inside eSign. Find the certificate that you just imported it should have AP12 file extension. Tap on it, choose Import to Certificate Managements and enter the password WSF. Once it's successfully imported, your assign is now ready to sign and install IPF files. Now, let's try to install an IPF file as an example. In this case, I'll use Delta Executor. Tap the three dots again on the top right, choose Import, and select your Delta Executor IPF file. After importing, go to the Apps tab, tap the app icon, select Signature, and finally tap Install. Wait for a few moments and you'll see the app installed on your home screen. Before you finish, there's one last important step. After you've successfully installed your IPF files, you need to change your Nezushub DNS mode. Then go to Nezushub DNS profile. Inside the DNS options, choose Use after installing apps and enabled it. This setting tells your device to stay protected even after installation, so your signed apps won't get revoked. If this video helped you, don't forget to like this video, comment below what app you installed, and share it with your friends.